Hi, my name is Finlay Seaton. As a young boy, I grew up with a horror of church and ministers and things, mainly because my father was a bully and a brute and a drunk, and my early life was just appalling. Uh, but he was a churchgoer, and part of what started me in disliking the church. Also, I had a young brother who, who died when he was seven from a brain tumour, which uh, he didn't survive the operation. And he, the minister came to the house and told me that he, he was a very good little boy, he said, and the reward for being good was he was taken away early to be in heaven. And I thought, goodness, the reward for being good is you, you get... You get headaches and sickness, and, and they cut a hole in your head, and they put you in a little white box and chuck you in a hole in the ground. And that's the reward for being good. Well, that was my excuse for not being very good. And for many, I left home, at, I, and for many years I wasn't. However, about that time, I was sexually abused by the local village policeman. He was also a church goer, so I just thought, yeah, they can do what they like, these people from churches. I left home at 15, I just went away at 15 and, and roamed about for several years and did the first clever thing I ever did in my life, I think. I met and married a beautiful lady. Uh, I got two wonderful daughters, two great sons-in-law and four granddaughters. And if I fast forward from there, there came a time in my life when I, three of us, we built our own houses, bungalows in the country, and, uh, and I had my own business. My business practices were not wonderful. I mean, what I told my clients, the things I said and did were not, you know, maybe the best. And certainly what I told my bank wasn't the best. Uh, but I realised I was losing my business. I was losing control of everything. And I was going to lose my wonderful house I was so proud of. And, but I was more concerned about the possibility of losing my wife and family, my daughters. And that's what worried me most. But she assured me, my wife assured me, that that wouldn't happen. So I was sitting in my house and I was sort of weeping, started crying. I didn't, I was a big tough guy, I didn't cry sort of thing, I was a big strong man. I didn't cry, but I found myself lying flat in my stomach, weeping like a child. And then I started hearing a voice and I thought, goodness, I'm not only losing my house, I'm losing my mind as well. And... This voice was very reassuring and tell me nice things, but at the same time, I was seeing every bad thing I'd done in my life, including some quite small and minor things. And I found myself voicing it and saying, oh, I'm sorry I did this and I'm sorry I did that. And the voice said, but I forgive you, forget it. I've forgotten it. You forget it. You're forgiven. You're a new creation. And I thought, this is a God thing. This is what they call salvation. And then I saw the story of Jesus, and I thought, wow, I knew what that was all about. I suddenly knew that, that Jesus had died for me. Forget he died for the whole world, he had died for me. And once again, for me. And I, that was great because I was lying flat crying for a long, long time. And I was worried because people could see inside my, through my window and see me there, but I suddenly started to laugh, and laughing was better because I could crawl. And I crawled out of the room and crawled into the bedroom. I stayed on my knees and started laughing and laughing. And I got up, I changed my... I don't know what had happened. No idea, nobody could tell me. I told my wife, obviously, and she was pleased for me. And uh, I went to church who didn't seem to understand me at all. I met a man in the street, an accountant that I knew, and I told him I was puzzled by all this. And he took me to a meeting, and it turned out to be the Full Gospel Businessman's Fellowship. It was a dinner. The speaker was a coal miner. He, he was wonderful and he, his testimony just sounded like mine. It wasn't the same, but it was similar. And then all these men, and they got, gave me big hugs and were standing and were speaking in weird languages and things. I thought, oh, this is great because I felt so good. Still losing my business, still losing my home, but I felt great. Things went on from there. I started to see in my own life, I started to be able to pray for people and see miracles happening. And they had said to me, you're going to be one of the happiest people. And there was a book called The Happiest People. That's it. And I read that book in an evening and I wanted to be just like them. And so it was joining the FGB and I'm still part of the FGB. And I, my life's been changed and it's wonderful. I'm so happy. I still have little problems, things crop up. 
but I've now got Jesus, so I have a solution for these problems. Anyway, thank you very much. I believe that you should ask Jesus. And you've got problems. You worry. You see no future for yourself. You don't know what life's all about. Ask Jesus into your life. And he'll certainly show you. And I guarantee one thing for you. If you ask Jesus into your life, you will be changed. And you'll be changed for the better. So thanks for watching to the end. And God bless you and yours. Goodbye.